we're back doing in the, the boat at Roland's Gill where the robins was in this tree at the hole. Every time we come doing the birds been in, it did have eggs. But we've we've just looked in there and there's actually what we are saying they got the torch in the bottle. It's quite hard to see in like the Can't see, but there is a couple of dead chicks a couple in the of bottom dead, of the nest. Uh, so. A couple of young dead chicks in the back there. But, uh, that's, so that's another one where the bird's been caught. The bird, something must be gamming in and these little holes. It's big enough for something to get in. What's the more fun with fun with eggs and they've got the little chicks in them? Ah, they haven't gotten they haven't gotten much further, have they? So much cotton. Something's taken them, killed them. <coughs> oh we're looking forward to getting some videos of that one coming in and out feeding the birds because we would have been sitting up there somewhere just watching from over there. It would have been nice to see the robin land on the trees down here and feeding the birds. Well the young birds anyways. But that's another one that we're, we've missed. Well, we did get a bit of footage of it in one of the videos. It's a shame. I'm just looking in the tree creepers nest here. We found it about a fortnight ago, maybe. Didn't have eggs and looking in there. Now you can see some of them, but it looks like there might be about seven eggs in there. Um, I'd imagine they'll be ready to hatch soon. It's like I said, it was a fortnight ago when we found them. So they should be hatching soon. I've had to climb a little bit of a tree to get there, like. But, it's worth it. They're one of my favourite little birds, the tree creepers, actually. And I mean, when I come back in a, in a week's time or so, when it's got the young, try and get a good film of the bird coming in and out feeding them. Your friend would love to see them but it's like I say it's up a bit of a tree here and he's a bit scared of heights. He's, I think he's a bit jealous that I've got up here and looking in the nest there but at least you'll be able to see them on the camera anyhow. We're still in the Gilwood here and it looks like a pigeon's nest but I'm thinking it could be a geas because you can see a tail sticking at the back there. It's hard to see when all these bits of branches and that. It doesn't look like a pigeon's tail, does it? But no, I'll just see if I can get under it a little bit. It is a geas, like. Its, it's head might be run this end, I'll see if I can work around them. Because they're a lovely bird. <clears throat> Can you see it better from up here? I just cannot really see much. That's our branches and that. It's, it's well hidden, it's doing a brilliant job. It's, it's focusing on the branches in the foreground, I cannot really... I'll see if I, see if I can get a bit further down here. Oops, it's down on branches. I've got a little bit of a clear shot of the nest here. I think I'm looking at the nest. Hang on. No, I'm not. It's hard to see but on this view kind of. I can see it. It's just dropped. Ah, that's a deer. It's just jumped off the nest there. Right, so that's, that's a good find. It's just up a small holly tree. I'm going to have a quick look up and a quick look in with the camera. Did you get a look at the bird as you came up? I had it on there. On there, and you, you could just see the silhouette of the thing jumping out, I think. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm up the tree where the geas is. It's just a small holly bush, so I'm not really, not really disturbing it. 
this picture might be a little bit shaky. It's got three eggs, I can see on the view kind of on the camera there. Let's get along these branches. They're a member of the Kura family. The nest doesn't look much when you're down on the bottom. But when you're actually up there, that's a, it's a good deep, deep nest lined out with roots. It's got twigs like a pigeon would build a nest. It's all bits of thin roots and that on the inside. It's a nice nest. It was quite hard to spot, just looked like an old pigeon from on the floor. You see the big tail sticking at the back. But we're going to move away from here and see. It's important to catch the bird, like a film of the bird anyways, because <clears throat> they're a nice bird to see. Like, I'm not really disturbing this because it's, it's not that high, it's only about six foot off the ground. It's just in the thick of a holly bush and I'm, I struggle to get through it. It's quite pleased with that thing. Just hoping something doesn't get to this one, like it's getting to the rest of the nest what we found and eating the young and eating the eggs or whatever. But that's a good find of jays. They're generally about five eggs. It's got three in there at the minute. That's a good find. We'll get more footage of this one. Flying around the boat. Now the bird's flying around up there. It's, we're still in the Gill Wood and straight ahead there in the middle of the shot you can see the red kite's nest. When we first came down here a couple of weeks ago the birds were actually building their nests. They were like, tweaks, weren't it? Ah, they just, it looked rough you could see through it and the birds was up there with the with twigs and that and but now the nest looks looks quite good. There's only one bird flying around above our heads at the minute, so there's, I'm sure the other one's going to be sitting in there. It's just the all protected, you're not allowed to get too close. We're on the top of a path, a good distance away with, from it, and just... We're hoping, that, like, we've got a good area where we can come to to film the birds feeding the young, we can actually get a good view from here. So we're hoping to get all that sort of thing in the next couple of weeks. It is it flying just across, I mean, and I can't see, but it's just flying above Ah, uh, it's just flew above the nest. I think it was on shot there. But we came in here a few minutes ago and we've seen a deer running through the wood, but they're that quick and by the time you get the camera on them, they're gone. You just hear a crashing through the trees. It'd be nice to get a footage of them. One deer. You can get loads of film of them just flying and you see them all the time, but it would be nice to get a footage of it actually coming to the nest. Ah, it landed on the side of the nest or something to feed its mate or to feed its young. We will. We will eventually. We're still doing the wood here, Roland's Gill. There's a, quite a few little blue tits up the trees. And there's a big red kite flying up over under the top there. There was one on this tree here when I got the camera out, but straight away it went higher. I was hoping I'm getting a good close shot. nice just to hear them. Just a few seconds ago what what's happening with the red kite up there and just down at the, the stream there there was a deer just standing 
But by the time I got the camera run onto it, it's shot up the path up the side. We missed it again. It's the second time we've seen it within 20 minutes in the wood. It, it probably has got a young fawn in here somewhere. Then it's sticking we found around. One last year. Aye, we found one last year under a bush. Uh, it only looked about a deal or something, but they always stay close by them. And this is the second time in a week we've seen it in this wood. <sighs> That's what we'll keep coming back for, the hope we can stumble across it and get a little bit of footage of it. Just catch it on camera, wherever it is. But they're that quiet and secretive until you actually scare them, you just... They're well camouflaged when they're sitting down. We've seen these a few times, but just up here is a deer. Now, we've seen them a few times in the distance, but they always seem to get away from one. It's hard to, get a, get a shot to get a good close up of one. Aye. We're walking up the line from uh, Winlayton Mill, up, up to Winlayton at the minute. Aye, you've, got, you've got the village down there, Winlayton Mill. There's a rabbit. It's going to come across the path. You get them all over the place, but they're still nice to see. Oh, there's loads there. We never used to see them as often there, 20 or 30 years ago, did you? No. A lot of them had mixy eye, but they... Ah, mixy got them years ago. There's loads of them. It's like watership down. <laughs> that was here something mad. Nice little one just there. Bright eyes. <laughs> you regret singing that, huh? There's quite a few of them as we came in there, but the ball ran away, eventually. We're going to walk a bit further up into the woods up here and see what we're going to see. We can hear a lot of birds. It's a good time we've seen some wildlife. <coughs> we're going to go and do it into this woods here. Whoa. Just on the hope that we might see a deer one day. And this is the footpath here. I'll turn the camera off for now. <clears throat> well, just walking along this path here, and there was a chiff chaff singing up the tree there, and I thought it might have been around the holly, but mate there, Philip, he's, he's finding Wait, all the good nests this year. I didn't find I seen the bird fly, to be honest, I wouldn't have knew what I was looking for. Aye. I mean... And just in here, I did find it eventually, but the brilliant little nest, very well hidden. Hard one to find. I mean, we've got to see he actually fund this one. Aye. I've seen the area where the bird flew, but. Aye, he's seen the bird fly out, and it's like impossible to get in there. That's the bird singing down there, making that chiff chaff noise. I'll just zoom back on. I'm trying to get a good shot of the nest without destroying it, because it's in all the brambles and everything. In the camera. But you can just see the fellas in the line of the hole there. If I can move that down a bit. But it's, a, it's a lovely little nest. You can see that in into the hole there. I can see it on the screen. But that's a chip chops. And they're a bit different than a willow wobbler. It's because a willow wobbler will nest on the ground. And a chip chap will be just off the ground in a small ball. Either nest and it's well hidden in the bracken that one. It's the first time I've actually been out where one's been fun. Aye. I've found a few of them in the past, only when you stumble across them on the edge of the path. And we're all on the edge of the path here. It's that's how we heard the bird and that and we just thought it would look because it's you've got all this bit of bramble stuff. And you can't so you can see it. I've the the seen the bird fly, but Aye, I wouldn't have uh, walked into the I seen the bird fly. Like, like I said, I wouldn't have <clears> knew what I was looking for. But that's there. another good find for the deer, that one. 
I'm tempted to have a look in, but you can't. There's no way you can actually see in the things, is there? Not just to document an egg. Can you stop that now? Not yet. Just in front of us there, I've actually got a good shot of the eggs. I've moved a little bit of the bracket on a boat. You can see into the nest there. I'll zoom in a little bit. But that's it. That's a chip chop egg in there. They've got bigger speckles on them than the little blue tits and grey tits and stuff like that. But oh, zoomed in a bit too far there. But all I've done was moved a little bit of the the feathers around the front of the hole. I didn't want to disturb it too much. But it's got about four or five in there, just so we could have a quick look. It's just that well hidden. I mean, you could literally walk through that and stand on it. Ah, you yeah. could. It's aye, just people just could come up the, the path, the aye. The but hey, that's... That's brilliant, that. It's been years since I've seen one. Excellent find, that one. I just had to get a look in, just to document them, really, more than anything. Because we're probably never going to find another one. A lot of people might think it's a bit reckless what I've just done by moving the bits of stuff on the front of the hole there. But it is just to make a bit of a documentation about it. It's not illegal to do this as long as you're not harming them in any way. And they are just off the side of a path where we found it. But it's, it's nice to see them. still in the woods at one late mill here and just there in the tree you can see it the big rook I don't know where there's actually many rookies are running there no there's, there's another one there so there's a pair they've probably got a nest in here somewhere I've got to say that are they not carrying crows? they look a bit the main thing they, they look the rooks have got the grey beak haven't they I think they look big though. Aye. A it's rook's got a much bigger beak though, hasn't it? Aye, big grey beak thing. It's uh, what a cry has. It's hard to tell looking in this viewfinder and they're a little bit too far away to see one eye. I didn't think they're cruel thing. No. But they're both just sitting there. We're, we're still on the path and we're late in the middle. I'm just looking around here and just to see if we can. They probably is going to have a nest in here. Because it's still just sitting there. Do you think they are crows? I'm not sure. They've only flew off like a, a few trees down. There, there could have been rooks. I'll have a look at the now the video. I'll have a good close look on the video, and we'll get it uploaded on the computer. <coughs> I'm not sure. Um, I thought the rook was smaller than a crow, the current crow. I'm not sure. No, I, I just can't remember. No. It's been that long since I've took any notes. I'm just looking to well, see yeah, what... Well, you get the carrying crows from Chad, didn't you? You would get a carrying crow in a, in a wood. It's um, a rook. They tend to build in rookeries, didn't they? You didn't see... You, but it's like a sad... You didn't see many of them like out in the wood, like on the round like this? That's what made us think it was a carrying crow. Because a, a rook would be with a rookery, the safety of numbers. Crows, they'll nest on their own, won't they? I can't even think there's a rookery. Aye. Local, local. No, there's, there's not a rookery local. I'm not sure. Huh? When they've been a pair and they didn't fly away very far, they're just, they're probably going to have a nest in here somewhere. We'll see if we can come across it. I've just walked a little bit further down the path here. And up there you can see, it, it's what looks like a carrion crow's nest. It must have young in the nest because both the birds are they're just here, just a bit further doing the path. And I was saying they didn't fly away very far, they are actually 
just doing there through the trees. I can see them. You can just see them there. Get them in shot there. Two of them. They're not flying very far away from the nest. So they must have been carrying crows. But we'll come across a, quite a little bit in this this wood there. Which we've done. Oh well. Um, what we're doing? Not really sure. There's this this pathway is doing all the way through here. It's just little paths all all over the place in this wood. Uh -huh. It opens up down here. Like we'll have a look. Might get a bit closer onto these onto these crows as well. Because they're both just sitting there still. Gotta fly away since we get that bit closer. Ah, oh, there they go. They're not flying very far, they've just gone from tree to like 10 trees away again. But we're not really off the path when we're in here, and we're just walking around all the, all the pathways. Uh, the right there's, there's that many paths in this wood. Uh, we're, we're just seeing all kinds of birds and wildlife. It's actually a good little place to come. It's the first time I've walked in this part of this wood. The, the house is one bit the mill, just down through there. There's a few terrace streets. No. And I mean, you wouldn't even... A lot of people don't even know this was here, No, it's, it's well hidden. Right. It's, it's off the road, the road's miles away from us. <clears throat> Another little robin there. Just seen it behind this tree. There it goes. Just in the bottom of that holly bush there. Quite tame robins, aren't they? Oh, there it is. We have getting a load of footage of robins in the, these last few weeks. Well, we're back down to where we started, where we've seen all the rabbits. We've, we've just come to the wood there. And this is where we've seen the rabbits at the beginning. The car's just up through there, across the other side of that field. So we're just... This is the end of the... Well, it was going to be the end of the video for the day, but I've just heard a missile thrust in these trees. It's at the top of this tree here somewhere. Never seen one for a while. I don't think where it is. It makes another noise that might stand out. It hasn't flew away yet, wherever it is. Been watching, I haven't seen anything fly out. It'd be nice to get a shot of one just at the end. But it was just a bad hope. Well, that's where it sounded like it was. I was only there. Uh, haven't seen a fly away. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll make this the end now because there's the village of one late and no, we're back to, like, like I was saying, we're back to where the car is. It's actually starting to rain again. It's been a bit drizzly most of the day here. Oh, there they are. I can actually see it through the top, it's through the very top of the oak tree, the second tree doing the time behind all the branches. I'll never get a shot of it. You can, you can hear it making that bird run noise. I'll never get a decent shot of it.